Okay guys, do you want to see the brand new piggy room? Ta-da! Hi guys! Alright, so this is the brand new piggy room. Now please don't mind the fact that it is night outside. But if you look over there, for your viewing pleasure, are two big windows because we are in the basement, but those are at ground level, so we got lots of natural light. So the piggies are back up on the stands that my dad built. He put them together again, just in a little bit of a different configuration to match this room. One thing that we did change was he put wood along the outside to hold the grids in, and this time it's screwed in the house before that it was nailed in some white trim that did not stay. So this is much more secure. And dad put lots of reinforcement in so the tables are super strong. You could get inside of them if you so desired. So thanks to dad for putting those all together. He put them together just in two days and we were all set to go. So then I personally cut and scored the chloroplast, put up the grids, got everything ready and then brought the piggies over with my sister and then again mom and dad helped bring stuff over with us. It was a lot of moving but I had a lot of family and friends who helped. Okay so over here on the left is a 2x3 with Bullseye. So Bullseye is my senior and I'll show you guys what he has that's special. We have a pet safe heat pad. So there's a chew proof cord and a waterproof pad that just stays on at all times. And it's on the high setting, which doesn't get insanely hot, but I still have his vet bed on top of that. And then his bed keeps him super warm while sleeping. So it is just hooked in down here and you can do high, medium or low or turn it off. So next to him is Angus and Autumn. So they are in a three by six. Hi babies, how are you? So there is coroplast walls blocking Angus from viewing the other pigs for safety's sake. I don't have any plexiglass put up yet. I'm going to see if that's needed at all. Hopefully it won't be. Hopefully these two will be occupied with themselves. So these two are still a little bit nervous. The pigs have only been in their cage just like half hour so everybody's being a little cautious still. So this is really nice for these guys because they have extra room. So at mom's house they had a 2x6, so now this is a 3x6, so I hope they really enjoy that. And now next door is my Coroplast Chewers. It was really nice at mom's because there was no sides up, so these two didn't get to chew. But this is Apple and Huckle. They are in a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3x5. It's a little bit bigger than a 3x5, a couple grids bigger. Well, squares, sorry. So these guys, just like the other cage, have their little hide area, you know, their regular setup, pellets, water bottles, their hay, their wood tunnels, their beds. Pardon me, that was under your water bottle. There's Huckman. So these guys are connected to the herd. My plan still is at some point to try to introduce everybody so that this will be one big L cage, but I need some days where I am around to watch them closely. So they are just with grids between. There's no plexiglass or coroplast just like at the other house so that they can see each other. So this cage is a three by eight L. Where you see bear? What are you doing to that cube? So we have Rum Raisin, we have Reese, Velvet, and I believe Pecan's over there. Let's go around and see. These girls are mucking up the cube. Yeah, there's Pecan there. Okay, can we put this back where it's supposed to go? It's all right. Okay. Hi, girls. So over this way you can get all access to the cages. I got a little bit of access right here. So the only part is I don't have along back there. I might need to get a step stool just for this cage 
to kind of reach over there properly. I got a little room there, a little room here. So up on the wall we do have a TV. My pigs are very extra. They like to watch TV or movies. And that's obviously a joke. That was actually left there by the other homeowner. So we do have a TV, I guess, if we wanted to watch it. And there's two shelves that came in with this room. So I just put up my little lawn ornament pigs up there. So here's the window. You're not gonna really be able to see outside, but it's really big. It's gonna be great. And then we have our heater on the floor and we have all our bins underneath. So our beds, our pads, our one by two liners, they're all tucked under here. This shelf came with this room. So I have my medical cabinet, my emergency care kit, I have my scale, and then we have some drawers over here. Just all my pig supplies like you usually have. We've got our clock and our air purifier that says I need to buy a new filter, so I'll have to do that. This came with the room as well. Not sure what we're going to do with it yet. So far it just has the pig's TV remote. And then we have our calendar. That's Butter Pecan. I like to make a calendar usually every year. I didn't do one this year, sadly. So this leads into the back room. We're going to have to put a door here because this is near where the garage entrance is. So it's kind of cool. So we put heavy duty drapes for right now to keep the warm air in. So then over here we have two boxes of our 50 pounds of orchard grass and Timothy hay. I've got some more little storage containers or scooper. And I think that's about it, guys. I do think I need to get... I usually had a couple night lights in the pet room. I might still get some of those for these guys. But yeah. Gotta go get my pellets. They're in the other room. Bullseye needs some more. So hopefully everybody tonight gets kind of used to the new setup and will be happy when it's veggie time in the morning, just like usual. So yes, and as you can see, I have a GoPro again. So I will be doing cage cleanings and a lot more videos now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.